Good evening, everyone, and Happy New Year 2021 started off with a bump in the road for the Donald Trump shop off of 45th Street South in Fargo. When an employee got to the shop today, they found the storefront vandalized, spray painted with the hashtag BLM. Valley News Team's Katie Opperly spoke to that employee and the Black Lives Matter organization. She joins us live from outside the shop with the latest. Katie. Stacy, it is a much different site here tonight than it was this morning. Only a few spots of red paint remain, as well as some stained snow from the cleanup process. An employee tells me that when they walked up this morning after the vandalism overnight, they were surprised. I noticed something was going on with the sign. I thought, well, maybe something fell down or something. And then as I got closer, I saw someone had vandalized it, you know, spray painted it. Red spray paint with a message covering the entire right side of the storefront. It said uh, Trump didn't win, Trump lost and uh, get lost. It told me to get lost. The spray paint was accompanied by a note addressing the store owner saying in part, stop perpetrating a fraud election. And it said BLM. Valley News Live reached out to Black Lives Matter Fargo organizers in regards to the BLM being painted on the store, and leaders released a statement that said in part, while the message of Black Lives Matter attached to the act of vandalism last night holds every bit of weight and truth, the leadership does not encourage or condone any acts of destruction or violence. The spray paint was cleaned up by the afternoon, the employee saying this is the first time something like this has happened. Well, we've been here for like seven months and really hasn't had much trouble. The employee tells me that they believe that the police have already identified the person responsible for the vandalism. I'm told that a man posted on Facebook posed with a spray paint can and claiming responsibility for the crime. Reporting live in Fargo, Katie Opperly, Valley News Live. Thanks, Katie. And to read the full statement from Black Lives Matter on the incident, we have it posted online. Just download the VNL News app and click this story on our homepage.